I wandered far away from God. Now I'm coming home. The paths of sin too long I've trod. Lord, I'm coming home. Coming home. Coming home. Never more to roam. Open are thy arms of love. Lord, I'm coming home. Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers. Good morning, morning Father. Father. This Mass is offered for the soul of Veronica de Souza by Bino and family, soul of A.D. Sebastian by Bino and family, soul of Rosama by Jesse and family, all souls in purgatory by Sharon and family, the intention of Lakshmi for a marriage and deliverance from all evil, intention of Lakshmi for a mother's conversion and for a job intention, an intention of Benny and Rosie, the mother-in-law of Benny, and also intention of John C. To place all these intentions and all for departed souls and for our intentions too. Let us begin the celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins of prepare of celebrate the sacred mystery in a worthy manner. I confess to Almighty God. And to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, and made fervent in hope, faith, and charity. They may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Shepherd your people, Lord, with your staff, the flock of your inheritance, who dwell alone in your forest, in the midst of a garden land. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead, as in the days of old, as in the days when you came out of the land of Egypt, I will show them marvelous things. Who is a God like you, pardoning iniquity and passing over transgression for the remnant of his inheritance? He does not retain his anger forever because he delights in mercy. He will again have compassion upon us. He will tread our iniquities underfoot. You will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. You will show faithfulness to Jacob and mercy to Abraham, as you have sworn to our fathers from the days of old. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response. 
let us see o lord your mercy let us see o lord your mercy o lord you have favored your land and brought back the captives of jacob you forgive the guilt of your people and covered all their sins you averted all your rage you turned back the heat of your anger response let us see o lord your mercy bring us back o god our savior put an end to your grievances against us will you be angry with us forever will your anger last from age to age response let us see o lord your mercy will you not restore again our life that your people may rejoice in you let us see o lord your mercy and grant us your salvation response let us see o lord your mercy gospel acclamation alleluia 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 praise be the lord alleluia 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 praise be the lord praise be the lord alleluia praise be the lord alleluia praise be the lord alleluia praise be the lord if a man loves me he will keep my word says the lord and my father will love him and we will come to him alleluia 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 praise be the lord the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew glory, glory to you o lord at the time while jesus was speaking to the people behold his mother and his brethren stood outside asking to speak to him but he replied to the man who told him who is my mother and who are my brethren and stretching out his hand towards his disciples he said Here I am my mother and my brethren whoever does the will of my father in heaven is my brother sister and mother the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord jesus christ if a man loves me he will keep my word says the lord gospel of john chapter 14 23 and today is we see in today's gospel jesus family and jesus disciples what's the difference between jesus family and jesus disciples my dear sisters and brothers there is no much difference between jesus family and disciples because jesus was born biologically through a woman a virgin mother mother mary and even gospel of luke speaks about this chapter 1 he is the only son of god who was born through human and today this particular passage especially gospel of matthew chapter 12 46 to 50 many misinterpret this or can misuse that to abuse mother mary or to make catholic faith in different way but today we need to understand jesus mother and jesus brothers and sisters why they have come to see him as the day he started his ministry he has not gone back home before we understand about jesus family and disciples we should know one thing 
First, we need to have faith that Jesus has born, has come into the world, took a flesh, was born as a human like you and me. That is the first thing. If he has born as a human, taken a flesh, that means definitely he has got a biological mother and father. That is what important. And he will have his brother, sisters. But according to scripture, Mother Mary has been said virgin forever. She conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, a Lord God, and she gave birth to him. After that, she didn't have any kind of relationship with Joseph or any biological relation. And she didn't have any other children. That's the reason, first, it's very important to have faith. Second, to show the reverence to our mother. Never ever use our tongue as we like, our lips as we want it. St. James says in book, in his letter, second and third, we see our tongue is a one which commits lots of sin. A tongue without a bone can commit anything for gain the popularity, to make money, or to make the congregation to rich and person to become improved, they exploit Catholic Church, they misuse the gospel. But today, you should be very careful about that. Mother Mary, she remained virgin forever, and she is a mother of God. The second thing is very important, as I said that, Mother Mary and brothers and sisters and disciples, my dear sisters and brothers, we should know that in Jewish tradition, or as we can use the Aramic language or the Hebrew, they don't have any substitute word for brothers, sisters, like cousins or anything like that. They will use only brother and sisters. If he is our cousin, our relative, for even for that person, they'll use brothers and sisters. In that context only, Jesus' cousins his own relatives come along with Mother Mary to call him back home. Why? This is the reason. The Apocrypha book commentary speaks about this. Because at the age of 30, a man should be married, at least should have a child and family. But Jesus at the age of 30, don't have a family, no children, not staying at home, wandering everywhere. People were giving a lot of name for him. And they come and say to Mother Mary, this is wrong with your son. Go and bring him back. Make him to have a family. Because people, nobody knows except Mother Mary that he is a son of God. And he is a God's anointed one. And the relatives, brothers and sisters, the cousins also felt bad about a cousin brother. People speaking about bad about him. That's the reason they come. To take Jesus back home, to provide him food, and make him to understand about the worldly life. But Jesus today, he portrays himself as one of a prophet has been called to do the will of the Father Almighty. And that is what today we see Jesus say to his fellow brothers and sisters, looking at them, who are my mothers, who are my brothers, who are my sisters? Those who do the will of my Father. Yes. In this case, we see Mother Mary stands as a first evangelizer, first disciple, first apostle of God the one who did the will of the Father. She is the only person without any hesitation, without any kind of signs asking. She said, let the will of God done in my life. When she said, yes, the salvation history started proceeding. If she wouldn't have said yes to the will of God, I don't know what would have happened to the salvation history. After she's saying yes only, the salvation history, the promise of God started proceeding. That's the beauty of God. God always respects our freedom. God sent Gabriel, angel, to Mother Mary to find out what Mother Mary wants to say. And Mother Mary heard everything. She said, yes. After saying this, yes, the command statement started producing. Today we see there are a lot of programming in a computer line. Whatever we have today, technology, everything made up of codings. In every codings, there will be one button. If you press yes, it will proceed. If you press no, it'll go back. Like if then else statement. Pressing it up, yes, it'll go. Similarly, Mother Mary said yes, it proceeded the salvation history, and today we are being a people of God. So my dear sisters and brothers, it's very important for us to know God the Father Almighty sent his son. He will cast out all our sins. He will take away all our bondages. He will give a life for us. 
That is what today we see, first reading, Prophet Micah speaks. In spite of all the bondages, all kinds of troubles and evil, God will come for our rescue, for our aid. He is there at our help. He is there at our side, and He will be with us. Today, we need to do God's will. How God's will, as Jesus said, the one who hears the will of the Father, does the will of the Father, be part of the will of the Father, he is my mother, he is my brother, he is my sister, he is my family, everything. He or she always be part of his family. And they are the one, God's family, she could be a mother of Jesus, or she could be sister of Jesus, he could be brother and sister, everything could be. But very important for us to do the will of the Father. What is the will of the Father? Accept Jesus. Whatever Jesus tells you, do that. This is what Mother Mary also said. When she was there part of the wedding of Cana, she looked at the disciples and said, do whatever he tells you. So the same thing Mother is telling to all of us, do whatever he tells you. That is the will of the Father. And that is the first quality to enter, to be a disciple of Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of a human hands, become for us a bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine work of a human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice, yours, may be acceptable, God the Almighty Father. May the, may Lord, the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offering of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from our faithful servants and make it holy as you blessed the gift of Abel, so that what each as offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them, them up to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of a praise, yet our thankfulness is gift your gift. Since our praises had nothing to greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you with joy, we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray. We're sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave a disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks to your held us worthy to be in your presence minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring it to the fullness of charity, together Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember all the brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. We pray for departed soul of Veronica de Souza, soul of A.D. Sebastian, soul of Rosama, all sin purgatory offered by Sharon and family. We also pray soul of George Victoria and all departed ones. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy on the families gathered here. Those who ask us to pray to whom you promise our prayers. Replace all those who are sick, need you, healing and deliverance. Replace all those who participate in the Holy Eucharist. We especially pray for the intention of Lakshmi for a marriage and deliverance from all the evil. We also pray for the intention of Benny, intention of Rosie and John C. Have mercy on all his Lord. That with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, a spouse. We pray for all those who are celebrating the birthday and feast day. Especially we place Selvi who receive the gift of life, continue to bless through her blessed family. That with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, a spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, Saint Anthony, Saint Francis Xavier, are pleased with throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. Graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus who is calling everyone to be his disciples by doing the will of his Father. Happy are those called the supper of this living God. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
act of spiritual communion my jesus my jesus i believe i believe that you are present that you are present in the most holy sacrament in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things i love you above all things and i desire earnestly and i desire earnestly to receive you into my soul to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally receive you sacramentally come spiritually into my heart come spiritually into my heart i embrace you i embrace you as you are already there as you are already there in my heart in my heart and unite myself and unite myself holy to you holy to you never permit me never permit me to be separated from you to be separated from you amen amen Behold I stand at the door and knock says the Lord Let us pray Graciously be present your people we pray O Lord lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from the former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord Amen, Amen. Prayer to St Anthony O, o loving St Anthony, Anthony you were a special witness of God's power and, and loving imitator of Jesus who received from god the special power of restoring lost things and patron of the poor we lift up our prayers to you we trustfully and confidently ask your aid in our present need help all of us in our daily struggles giving us hope and peace pray for us saint anthony so that we may continue to grow in god's love intercede for us through christ our lord amen and the lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you the father son and the holy spirit amen go forth the mass is ended thanks be to god i just keep trusting my lord as i walk along i just keep trusting my lord and he gives me a song though the storm clouds darken the sky oh the heavenly trail i just keep trusting my lord he will never fail 